Slicing through steel in a matter of seconds. I thought this can't be true. I said this is gonna be this is gonna be big. What first thought in my mind, this is gonna be big. 100 percent environmentally safe. Yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting to have created uh, this very unique gas. It's, it's very evolutionary. I think it'll change the world uh, in our in our own small way, which will get bigger. Uh, we'll, we'll change the world, and uh, and it'll make it a better place. That's for sure. Producing results that have never been seen before. I mean, how can you not love it? It's three times as fast. It's so much cleaner. So once you get accustomed to it, nothing else will ever be good enough. Sound like science fiction? It's not. It's here. It's now. It's HHO gas. And it's evolutionary. Yet the source of HHO's energy has been here since the dawn of time. In fact, it's one of the most common substances in the universe. Water. For centuries, man has tried to harness the power of water. And as early as the 19th century, scientists narrowed their focus to the two comprising elements of water, hydrogen and oxygen. They knew that these two individual gases could be produced from water, but found it was very expensive to do so, requiring tremendous amounts of electricity. In addition, the resulting quantities of hydrogen and oxygen were small and extremely dangerous if not handled properly. As a result, many believed for decades that there was little to no commercial future for water as an alternative fuel source. But then came the dawn of a new millennium, and with it, the birth of not two, but one unique new gas, HHO. By expanding on older research and using a more sophisticated approach, inventor Denny Klein developed a new process and machine that would finally achieve what was once thought impossible. The H2O2000 machine is uh, very user-friendly. Uh, basically, you just need electricity and water. And from that water, we make a very unique gas called HHO gas. Uh, the gas is made on demand uh, without any high-pressure tanks, and it's, which is a, a big safety factor in the industrial arena. Indeed, when compared to other more traditional gases like oxyacetylene, HHO gas and its H2O2000 generator is much safer, easier, and less expensive to operate. In fact, HHO has no toxic fumes, no ultraviolet radiation, no dark soot. It's odorless, colorless, and 30% faster. I've been uh, welding, steam fitter, plumbing for 26 years. My granddad has been doing it for 55 years now. Uh, we've seen this machine, both of us were just blown away. Uh, by the applications and we're burning water. It just blew us both away. For workers in the welding industry, HHO being generated on demand and on site by the H2O2000 can mean a savings of $20 an hour in gas costs alone. Here we've got a hot water piping installation. 26 years ago when I came into the trade, the norm was using propane or uh, acetylene gas. The carbon soot coming off of the fossil fuel gas would blacken the walls, and nobody wants to repaint their walls. Here today, we've come in with the uh, HHO gas. It's cleaner, more efficient, and it increases our productivity with less heat stress on the members. And we go in and do it in half the time. Acetylene, you're usually running about a minute per joint. HHO gas, they've timed me, and I've got it down to 12 to 15 seconds. Thousands of joints per, per job, you're increasing your productivity twofold. When in a side-by-side -side comparison, it is easy to see how much faster HHO gas can be. Finishing this copper joint in just 14 seconds, HHO leaves oxyacetylene behind in record time. We 
go in, the contractor's making money, the homeowner is saving money, and we're making money because we're working. HHO's flame itself is only 259 to 279 degrees Fahrenheit, but reacts quickly with whatever it is applied to. Our temperature is 259 degrees. We can instantaneously start cutting the steel right away. So we went from 259, 1400 degrees. This is a refractory brick. We can literally burn a hole right down through the center of that brick, so we jump to 4500 degrees. We can go from 4,500 up to over 10,000 degrees. We can totally subliminate tungsten. That's a 10,000 degrees. Very concentrated flame. Doesn't burn my fingers. In robotics, we can heat up a part. We can do it with one gas. We can heat the part up very, very quickly. As you can see, it's cherry red, and the whole part is, is consistently cherry red. This is a barbecue grill briquette. Again, we can get that cherry red in just a matter of seconds, instantaneously, when our gas hits it. Normally, that would take three to five times longer, and they would never get the BTUs that you get using our gas. This is a piece of ceramic. Again. In the future, an anode, as you can see, instantaneously, we can get thousands of degrees of temperature. We've gone over 13,000 in the laboratory. For the Navy, we've also done another project where we uh, cut lead. And again, we can instantaneously cut lead like a piece of butter. The nice part about it, we start out with water. And once the gas is combusted, it'll turn right back to water. Pure and clean water, making HHO gas 100% safe for those who use it and for the environment. Safety was one of the major reasons uh, that I was so attracted to this system uh, because for a long time it, we've taught the oxyacetylene system as a normal part of machine tool technology and uh, I literally was frightened for the young people because acetylene is such a volatile and explosive and unstable gas to use. Donald Wan is an instructor at the Fulton County Area Vocational School in Kentucky. He has found HHO and the H2O 2000's safety features to be a tremendous asset when working with high school students. You probably need to reduce your RPMs just a little bit. Very good. Our main focus here at the Fulton County Area Technology Center is preparing young people for life. We teach uh, high school aged young people, uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders uh, oftentimes are just beginning to seek what direction they're going to go for their workaday world or to further their education. Here in my classroom I teach machine tool technology and we have a pretty full spectrum machine shop, all aspects of it, the computerized, the digital, the general machine, and of course a big part of that is the welding part, and that is where HHO technology has fit so well with my class. Just the safety features was such a wonderful aspect of it that it is not explosive as acetylene is. It puts out no ultraviolet light, so it can't be damaging to their eyes. There's not many ways that you can maladjust this machine, and so they can't get too much pressure on one side or the other, and every aspect of it is a positive. Myself, going into mechanical engineering, I would rather work with HHO than acetylene, because acetylene is primitive. Acetylene is hazardous, toxic to breathe, um, explodes easier, costs more to run. After I get out of engineering school, I hopefully design, build, use HHO on some of my work. HHO technology replacing the oxyacetylene system uh, in, in the industrial world, in the educational world, in any aspect, as far as I'm concerned, is a done 